Head production is central because we know that people from our diverse communities are more likely to suffer from health inequality and um, we know from the work that we do together that the only way of tackling that inequality if it's led by people from those communities and just an example so one of the projects on advancing mental health equality has been looking at social isolation as part of that work and again there's a lot of research that shows that if you're socially isolated you're more likely to be mentally unwell but also more likely to develop things like dementia so the advancing mental health equality project through somebody who lives uh, in the southwest took a lead and said right what can we do to get our community together and they set up things like cafes to bring people in uh, and drop-in sessions so that's just one example of why co-production is key. I think the overall message though is that the only way we'll tackle some deep seated inequality, everything from people with serious mental illness dying on 20 uh, years younger on average, all the way through to asylum seekers having experienced 14 major traumatic events uh, in their life, these are the type of things that we've been looking at through advancing mental health equality and this is what we've been doing around co-production making sure that the people with the lived experience of that thing are the ones uh, taking the lead in it so the collaborative works by making sure that lived experience is embedded at all levels and uh, we have action learning sets where at every learning set we pick a different topic around co-production so over the last year we've looked at things like uh, the sharing of power uh, between nhs leaders and people with lived experience we've spoken about taking risks and how you need to do that to innovate uh, in co-production um, also at those actual learning sets we have our equality advisory group members so these are people with lived experience of different equalities uh, issues from different diverse communities and they come along and they support the teams to really drill into what's that community experiencing what might you want to think about in the project that you're doing as part of the collaborative and just another way in which uh, we've been helping people through the collaborative is that we've been designing guides. So uh, we have a co-production guide that puts it into a neat arrangement of steps that people can work through from start to finish. So what will be different in wave three? We're moving from a collaborative model to a modular approach and there'll be three uh, modules and they'll be looking at three elements of advancing mental health equality so it'll be looking at how do we advance mental health quality on the front line how do middle managers navigate some of the complexities uh, and work across different teams and departments and then how do senior leaders make sure that there's the right culture uh, surrounding them the bit that I'm able to talk most about um, is around the leadership uh, element of it. So have been closely involved in designing that. And that's all about providing spaces in which senior leaders can connect with one another, where they can talk about similar challenges around advancing mental health equality, but also we can provide them with a mentor a mentor that's got that experience of advancing mental health equality and that might be within an H trust it might be within a VCSE uh, organization but pulling that all together to provide a comprehensive package of support to senior leaders the whole thing will be a shift from focusing on equality to having more of a focus on equity the reason we're doing that is because Yes, equality is where we want to get to, but we know now that equity is the way in which we get there. We have to look at how we support different communities 
in different ways, rather than saying everybody has the same level of support. We now know that we need to drill into certain communities to say, we're going to do these things to give you extra support. So it could be designing a community mental health service uh, like they've done in Norfolk and Suffolk, uh, where they developed a community mental health service to focus on people who had experienced major trauma through their experience being uh, a refugee. It's that kind of thing that we're going to really drill into more. And the Royal College of Psychiatrists, its focus on the future will be more about equity. So the advanced mental health equality will be an ever-evolving model uh, that meets the requirements of that time.